Good morning, children. Welcome back to the social session, children, where we were learning about the question and answers of the uh, Vijayanagara Empire, the kings of Vijayanagara Empire. Yesterday, I gave you the work of uh, writing uh, answer to the question, why uh, was the Krishna Devaraya most feared king of those times? But you failed to attempt. And even the answer which I gave in the video also, you are unable to write down properly. Describe the art and architecture of Kutub Shahis was the question I asked. So, what was the answer I gave? I gave you the answer that uh, Kutub Shah is uh, who was a governor of uh, uh, the Bahmanis in Telangana region declared independence and established their dynasty uh, from Golconda. They have established their dynasty. Kutub Shahi dynasty was established uh, making Golconda as their capital. So from there I started that Sultan Ibrahim Kutub Shah who patronized the Telugu literature uh, supported Brahmins and the temples and engaged in a large scale irrigation works. So, this large scale irrigation works, uh, what did I tell you? That construction of the uh, Hussein Sagar, Hussein Sagar was also constructed by him. And even uh, we have learned that many important Telugu poets were presented during his uh, time. Ponaganti Telangana Raya and uh, Kandukure Rudrakavi, Addanki Gangadardu are the people, are the poets who were present in his uh, court and uh, he was uh, famously known as Mikey Barama and coming to the son of uh, Ibrahim that is Muhammad Kuli Kutub Shah, he was a great visionary and he is the person who laid foundation stone for the uh, modern Hyderabad. So it was uh, Mayor Momin Astrabadi who is the chief architect of uh, the present Hyderabad city and Charminar was also constructed by him and you know uh, the Hayat Bakshi mask which is located at uh, uh, Hayat Nagar was constructed uh, by the uh, Maas Sahaba and even uh, the Golconda is also famous for its tombs, the Kuli Kutub Shahi tombs which are seven Kutub Shahi tombs located in Ibrahim Bagh tells about the great architecture. You have, some of you have written even about the Makkah Masjid, the great architecture present in Makkah Masjid and even the Minars, Char Minars, okay. This uh, style of uh, architecture, the Persian style of architecture mixed with the uh, South Indian style, these were a recognizable art and architecture of uh, uh, these uh, Kutub Shahis. This is what the answer you need to write down children. And uh, what about the answer to the uh, feared uh, king, the Sri Krishna Devaraya was the most uh, uh, feared king. You should write about his uh, cavalry, you should write about his uh, elephantry you need to write down about uh, how uh, much army he has and how fearful he was. So, Sri Krishna Devaraya has a million fighting troops with him and in which he included 35,000 cavalry and uh, ready to be dispatched to any quarter of the kingdom at any time. And uh, this, this uh, made him uh, one of the most feared king in that region because 35,000 cavalry is not a small thing. Okay, cavalry bole to kya hai ji? Cavalry bole to the soldiers on the Horses, Gode ke upar soldiers rahi thi Gode, Gode. So 35,000 Gode the fine breed because Sri Krishna Devaraya got these horses from Portuguese. Portuguese ke saath trade rahene se usko achche breed ka horses mila tha. Okay. And uh, Gulf se bhi achche achche Gode mangwaate the and because of which his uh, army was very powerful. And uh, we also have learned why uh, he was a very powerful man he captured many regions and expanded the vijayanagara empire and uh, the what we call vijayanagara empire has reached its peak during the period of uh, sri krishna devaraya this is what you need to write down as an answer children so today uh, i'll give you two more questions children please make it uh, uh, clear and write down attempt to answer making uh, uh, attempt to find out answer for such kind of questions okay uh, the question is what was the role of jamindars in mughal administration what was the role of jamindar in mughal administration this is a question children i'll give you answer for that even i even give answer for that you need not worry about it okay so please uh, take that answer jamindars were actually intermediaries the answer for that question is Jamindars are intermediaries 
and they are local headmen of villages are powerful chieftains powerful chiefs this is the first point and second point is uh, they were existed on hereditary basis uh, but not appointed by any mughal emperor on hereditary basis but not appointed by mughal emperor please note it down and next point is that uh they often acted as they received a share of revenue also of what they collect they received a share of revenue a share of revenue okay so this is how you need to write down the answer and i give you two more questions also try to write down answers even for those questions also in the next class we will see some more question answers children thank you